One thing I forgot about uh, subclasses in Java is that we actually have to define the constructor for subclasses. Um, and it's because we don't have a default uh, constructor here. So you're going to get this error. And I totally forgot about this. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but it's, I guess it's a good lesson. Uh, so let's come up with a constructor for user paddle. It says uh, we have not defined a constructor. So let's come up with a constructor for user paddle. So the user paddle constructor will take in everything the paddle constructor will take in, right? Uh, so we take in all the things of the paddle constructor. And then what we're going to do is we're literally going to call the parent constructor. So we're going to say super um, and super calls the super class. And to call the super class constructor, we literally just say super and we can just pass these things into it. Uh, LCY, PW, PH, and that's it. Okay. Um, now for the computer paddle, technically what we should do is we should uh, We should, uh, what should we say? We, for the computer paddle, we should change the current ball y position. We should initialize the current ball y position inside of it, but we're gonna initialize that with the setter anyways. You could set it to zero in here, it's, it would be. So you could do this if you wanted to. And that would take care of all of the uh, the computer paddles things. Now, keep in mind that you need to set that before you use the computer paddle. Um, so we're calling super, and that allows us to implement our constructors um, by calling the super classes constructor. So we're invoking the super classes constructor. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Sorry about that.